Hey guys, welcome to my channel. Um, today I'm going to talk about my favorites of the month. These are the best of the best of all the things I've been trying recently. I'll have some old things, some new things, stuff that have been out on the market forever, some things that have just released or a little bit hard to get your hands on. But either way, I'm going to be going through all of it, so let's just get started. So the first thing I'm going to be talking about is hair products. So I have these three products that have completely changed my hair routine. These are especially good for when you're that in the in-between stages, when you need to get your hair done, but either you can't afford it or something's come up and you still wanna keep your hair looking phenomenal. So the first one here is the Healthy Sexy Hair. This is their Soy Tri, tri Wheat Leave-In Conditioner. This stuff has changed my hair game. What I do is I put it on, you put it on damp hair right after you get out of the shower and it also works as a detangler. So I have really fine, I have a lot of hair but it's really fine so it gets stuck to each other really easily and literally every time when I go to brush my hair it just clumps fall out. So um, this has really helped change that and it's also helped just moisturize. I feel like my hairdresser notices a difference. She always talks about how healthy my hair is and I feel like this is the reason for that. The next thing I want to talk to you guys about is the Living Proof Perfect Hair Day Dry Shampoo. And this stuff is so true to its name. It says it actually cleans hair, eliminates oil, sweat, and odor. I would say my only downside to this is I'm not really a fan of the smell. It's, it has like a little bit of like a floral kind of fruityish scent, but it's like masked by chemicals. So that's my only downside to it, but it sprays so nicely. You spray it on your hair 10 to 12 inches away. You let it set for 30 seconds and then you just massage it in and the stuff gets it done. It works better than Batiste in my opinion. It works a little bit better than the Chlorine if you use that one, the Oat formula. However, that other one smells better, but I feel like this one performs better throughout the entire day. Don't need a touch up. Your hair looks good. You have volume. This stuff is the bomb. Last but not least, my absolute favorite. This product has changed how long I need to go in between getting my hair done. This is the L'Oreal Paris Root Cover Up. I'm in the shade Red. It says Temporary Gray Concealer Spray. So I was a little bit hesitant when I got this because I'm in my 20s, I don't have a lot of grays. Thankfully, it has definitely concealed my roots so much better than anything I've ever used. My Holy Grail product before this was probably the Bumble and Bumble dry shampoo with a red tint to it. This one works so much better. It looks so much more natural. It, it does have a little bit of like fallout. So if you go to bed at night and you have white pillow sheets or white sheets, it can stain them a little bit. I mean, with a little bit of bleach, it'll come out. That's not a big deal to me because it conceals my roots and bleaching my pillowcases is still less expensive. So this is a complete winner for me. I recommend this for every color, especially redheads. It's so, so hard to find really good root concealers for redheads that work really well without looking like too orangey or like too purpley and I feel like this is a really good balance between the two. So next I'm going to talk about skincare. This is the Evan Healy Rose Geranium Facial Tonic Hydra Soul. I feel like I'm having a moment with like rose products like anything rose scented. After I you know wash my face pat dry I'll spray this all over my face. It has a really nice spray to it you can see just like a really really fine mist. It smells so good it's like Mm, it smells like the spa. What it does is it balances the oil. So I'm more of an oily or combination oily person. This helps balance how much oil I produce throughout the day. So it helps my makeup look better, makes my skin look brighter. So this is a total win for me this month. And then next I have the Mario Badescu Vitamin C Serum. This stuff is amazing. If you're not using vitamin C in your skincare routine, you need to be. So what vitamin C does is it helps reduce dark spots in your skin. It's going to help um, pull like the hyaluronic acid, pull moisture from the air to your skin to appear more plump. It retains skin zone moisture and collagen and enhances firmness and elasticity. So I use this after I use my Evan Healy tonic. And what I do is I just put two to three drops, like one here, 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 maybe some on the neck, bring it down and then just rub it in. It does have a warming effect to it so if you're not used to that it, it will make your skin feel a little bit warm but it's just for like the first you know maybe 10 minutes then it goes away personally I have really sensitive skin and 
even though it does make my skin warm, it doesn't make me feel like I need to wash it off right away like with some other serums I've used. So I think this retails for like 40, 45-ish dollars. It is expensive. However, I do feel like Mario Badescu's his skincare line is a lot cleaner and uses more natural ingredients than a lot of the other ones out there. So I really do stand behind this line. I like it a lot. And then my last skincare product I have is the, the Face Shop, the Blackhead Out White Clay Nose Pack. Korean products always have like the longest names ever, but their products perform so amazing that it's worth getting mixed up. So what this is, you can see it's kind of like a clay bubbly kind of formula to it. Um, what I do is I'll use this sometimes after I wash my face, maybe like two to three times a week. And I'll put it on my nose area and like maybe bring it out to about right here. It takes about 10, 15 minutes, it dries on, and then you just peel it off. So if you're familiar with the Bosha charcoal peel mask, it works in the same way. It just peels off all in one strip. Uh, this stuff really does help eliminate blackheads, clear out your pores since I'm oily combination. It really helps get rid of all that. So I love this. And now let's move on to makeup. This is the fun part. <laughs> so I'm going to talk about something that I feel like everybody on YouTube has already talked about, but we're gonna go there. Um, this is the Too Faced The Sweet Peach Palette. You can see the colors, it looks so beautiful. This took me forever to get my hands on. So they released it, I think, on Too Faced website, I missed it. They released it on Ulta's website, missed it. Sephora's gone. So what I did is Ulta restocked this in store and I called and I asked them if they could put it on hold for me. And the makeup god said, yes, we are gonna put it on hold for you. So I got it. <laughs> and when I went to go pick it up, there was this crazy story about how this guy was there and he was trying to like steal the one off of the shelf for the display and they had to like tell him to leave and everything like this. So I was so happy that they still held this for me because I had to go like after work across town and rush hour traffic, but I was like, yes, this is the best spring summer eyeshadow palette that's out right now. Just get so many versatile colors. They were beautiful, work on every skin tone. Powders just are so buttery, so smooth. They blend so easily and they smell like peaches. So the next product I wanna talk about are nail polishes. So it's what I'm wearing on my hands today. It's the One Step Gel Wonder and this is what they look like. So beautiful. They do perform just like they say, with one coat, without base coat, without top coat. And I did feel like it was thick and like went on nicely, but they last so much longer, like two weeks, just like a regular gel would. Um, if you put them on with the base coat, with the top coat, you know, it will get you through two, sometimes three weeks, especially on your toenails. Um, this color is Crime of Passion. This is one of my favorites. Um, Don't Be Jelly is another one of my favorites. It's really pretty, like lilac-y. A little bit of pink tones too, so I think this is just gorgeous for spring. And then what I'm wearing on my hands today is the Scientific Method, and you can see it's pretty true to the color here. So Wet n Wild just knocked this product out of the park. People always think I got a manicure at the nail salon when I wear this, and their colors are, like their range is just like phenomenal. It's so great for spring and summer, I love it. So the next product I'm going to talk about are the Eyelore Natural Lashes. Um, these are in the number 20. What I love about these is that they're very rounded, so they just like form to the eyes contour very, very nicely, unlike a lot of the other lashes out on the market that are more stiff or straight and you have to, you know, like sit there and bend them and wait and then you do the glue and then you wait and then you pop them on. These are like, put the glue on, wait 10 seconds, throw them on your eyelashes, done. Like they're so easy and I think they're really goof proof in that way. So yeah, these are great, especially if you like a natural, full, lengthening lash. These are amazing. And the next product I'm going to talk about is lipstick. Um, so I'm wearing this lipstick on my lips today. It is the CoverGirl collaboration with Katy Perry, and this is the Katy Cat Matte. I know this is like a heated debate on YouTube whether or not this is like amazing or it's terrible. And, but this one I really, really love. This is in the color Cosmo Kitty. It's a really gorgeous like purpley shade. You can kind of see it here. With this shade, I actually thought it was gonna be a little bit darker when I saw the bullet applied it. It is a lot more lighter, kind of a little bit closer to what they show you here on the bottom. 
The main thing when looking at these is don't expect them to be matte. Like even on my lips now, you can see like this is nowhere near a matte lipstick. So if you come with those expectations in mind, I think this is a product you'll really enjoy. It doesn't, it doesn't dry out your lips. You do have to set it, wait for it to dry. Otherwise it can transfer, it can transfer to your teeth. Other than that, it is a really great product. The colors are fantastic. This is the new collaboration with Lancome and Lisa Eldridge. I guess technically it's not a collaboration. It's been known that she's been working with Lancome for a while and these are her Juicy Shakers. This is in the shade Meant To Be. This is a blue and I just was immediately drawn to this color of all the range. So what you do is you can see how the oil separates um, from the color. You mix it up just like a cocktail and then you take it and you just dab on the lips and the cushion is so soft. It does remind me of like a bunch of like Korean products with the cushion. It smells so good. It's the blue reflections do is they just help your smile, your teeth to appear wider and brighter but without actually looking blue on your lips. This goes on very clear um, with a little bit of like a very, very small amount of blue iridescence to it. And it's just so pretty. I think it works with everybody's skin tone. It makes your lips feel super moisturized. There's no stickiness whatsoever. This is a total winner. So the next product I'm going to talk about is the ColourPop highlighters. These are the Super Shock Cheek highlighters, and this is in the shade Lunch Money. I have been using this every day since I got it in the mail. It's very buttery, kind of goes from like a cream to a powder. You can see how bright it is and it just like instantly picks up the light on your face. It's so pretty. I think it works with light skin tones very well for something that has a little bit of gold in it because I feel like that's a, something that's very hard to pull off. So this is one of my favorite highlighters at the moment and I also love to put the Physicians Formula Shimmer Strips on top of it. Uh, I think it's just a very nice, beautiful glow for spring. So one of the next products I'm going to talk about is a tool, and the, these are the Kevin Aquan eyelash curlers. I feel like eyelash curlers are so personal to so many people, kind of like mascara, but these are, in my opinion, the best eyelash curlers. These were actually formulated for Cher. He was working with her and you know she Cher is known for like gigantic long gorgeous big voluminous lashes the lady in Nordstrom told me that I was like I need those I need those in my life and I think Lisa Aldridge just talked about these nothing can touch them they curl your eyelashes so easily they set all day long you know before any mascara I'll use this on days when I don't even want to put on mascara just feel like it opens your eye so much better with that lift and curl of the lashes going upwards you need this in your life and then last but not least are scents so I got Atelier Cologne this is an orange sanguine I believe it's pronounced this came in the Sephora Play Box. It smells so good. I'm wearing it right now. It just smells like freshly cut oranges, but in a very sophisticated way. If you're one of those people that doesn't like floral scents like me, I can't stand floral scents because it's too overpowering. It just, it just makes me feel like stuffy. Um, if I get in an elevator with someone who's wearing floral scents, I just like can't handle it <laughs> so um this is something that's definitely for you like very fresh very summery this is great so that's everything i have to show you guys this month thank you so much for watching and i can't wait to see you in my next video bye guys